know, obviously, let's give credit where credit's due. I think um, USD is a, a very good team, and, and they become an even better team when you make mistakes. They, they do what good teams do. They make you pay. We made too many unforced mistakes in the first half. That's how they gapped it. And, um, you know, that's the story of the game. We can sit here and talk about how we played in the second half. And, and certainly there were some encouraging things, but there's 40 minutes on the clock. And especially against a good team, you've you got to go out there and execute for 40. And, and you can't spot anybody a 20-point lead. And that's what we did. And, um, you know, a valid comeback it just fell short. And not good enough. At the end of the day, it's another loss. Um, what did you say, half or what, what, you know? <laughs> What's that? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, my bosses are in the back of the room. I think that word might have came out with a couple other words. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just, it's such a, it's such a fun group. And, and, and it's, it's, even in a moment like this, it's real easy for me to say that because look at how they respond. What, what, I, what I have to do a better job of is getting into them understand that, it can't take adverse situations uh, to, to put yourself in that mindset, whatever that mindset was. Um, and and it, it, you saw what we're capable of. Uh, and we went into this game, as much as the, 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 the loss hurts, the, the result hurts, there, there's about 29 days until we need to be where we need to be. And, and that's the whole goal now uh, is to get better and, and position ourselves to be where we need to be come uh, Summer League Tournament. What was the lights explanation? Did you guys consider not playing at all? Or? I never heard anything about the lights, Jeff. Anybody say anything? Or? No. I, I, nope. Not, not that I'm aware of. You talk a little bit about Dang's play. He's been elevating his game these past couple games here. What does he, what does he provide coming off the bench? Well, Dang's a talented young man, and I think it's about getting comfortable in different environments and different situations. and. Um, you know, he's, he's starting to get more and more comfortable. I think probably for the last month to six weeks, that light has been blinking. And, you know, it was encouraging this week. That light was more solid. And, and I mean, he, he got more minutes. He took advantage of those minutes. Now, like all of us, he needs to, you know, stay hungry and keep getting better. Obviously, this one hurts. You said last Tuesday of practice was kind of a turning point. You kind of saw a light click with your seniors. Do you think this game could be kind of like – a turning point for your team with that, those last 20 minutes? So well, I, certainly, I certainly hope so. You know, but again, I think with youth, you understand there's, you feel like there's a lot of turning points and they've just got to understand we, we can't be okay with, you know, just the way we played in, in the second half. We have to understand the way we played in the second half, we're capable of anything. And, but the way we played in the first half, we're obviously on the reverse side of that. Anything, anything can happen to us. So, um, you know, starts with me from the top and, and, and challenge and, uh, listen, no, no one sits in these losses worse than I do. Uh, but, you know, good, bad, or indifferent, we're in a mid-major league, and, and we need to keep getting better and position ourselves to, to be where we need to be in, in Sioux Falls in, in about a month. David asked Paul this, does this game kind of feel like a microcosm of your guys' season just with stretches where you're able to play with the top team in the Summit League and have stretches of laps where you can't put the ball yeah, that, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Um, in in – but our season isn't defined yet. Our season isn't over yet. We still have plenty of learning opportunities. You know, failure has been a big word in our program. You can be scared of it. Uh, you can let it define it, d define you, or you can learn from it. And we've had a few failures. Uh, now we're going to see how we respond and if we, you know, if we take the opportunity to learn from them. On the back half of Summit League play here, is it almost too late in the season to be taking a moral victory out of a game, or what's going to be the takeaway today? Um, no moral victories in, in this in this program, and I certainly understand and, and appreciate your question. But no moral victories for us, and um, you know wherever we're at, we're just trying to get better. And we haven't had a conference standings board up in our locker room since last year because it's about us, and, and we need to focus on us and taking care of our business. I thought first half was completely on me. Um, what I have five, probably five turnovers at halftime. I thought I was just absolutely terrible. Um, I don't think it matters how I, how, however many shots I hit in the second half, whatever that loss on me. What happened at halftime for you guys to come up where you did? I mean, coach said it right at halftime. I mean, he said, basically just came in and said that was embarrassing, and which it was. Um, 
I mean, we just knew that that's not the, the quality of basketball that we want to put on the floor and just for the fans, something had to change. For us, something had to change, and it did, but, um, I mean, it was just too late. Have any factor on you guys? I mean, no, I mean, that was weird, but no. Dang, game by game, you just seem to keep getting more more comfortable. Are you starting to feel a lot more com confident in your game uh, going forward? Oh, yeah, these two games help. I uh, feel more confident, just go out on the floor and just play looser. Paul, does this kind of feel like a microcosm of your season in terms of the roller coaster, not just within the season, but within game by game where you have stretches where you guys can play with top teams in the summer league? I mean, a little bit. Um, just shows, I mean, what they beat us by 20 in the second half. We beat them by almost, or in the first half, we beat them by almost 20 in the first half. I mean, or in the second half. I mean, man, it, like I said, it starts with me, but if we bring it all 40 minutes, we're in my opinion, the scariest team in the Summer League, and we'll, we'll start to show that here from here on out.